haven't done a makeup check. Oh. Check there's no bogeys coming out. Oh uh, yeah. So that's me at the moment. Let's go. What is up, YouTube? It's James from Robin Henry Watches. And we're here to talk about... Amiga. Amiga. Why do we always go down that way? Like, like we're gathered here today. We are gathered here today. I think that's going to be our motto. It's almost like a Christmas episode. It is. Well, yeah, it probably will be. Is it coming out Mer this week? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I Merry Christmas. <laughs> Cherry brandy. Yeah. It's really f***ing good. Mm. I know, I've nearly finished it. Mm. Right, so we're talking about... The new Amiga Seamaster 300. Seamasters. Seamasters. Um, so we're talking about the 60th anniversary to uh, James Bond, the film franchise. So obviously Amiga have jumped on it. Um, there's some good points we're going to touch on that, but there's some absolute BS happening here. Yeah. I mean, um, it was good that Daniel Craig was behind it. He actually wore one. Why is, why is he even involved? Is he still Bond? Technically speaking, yeah. Until his successor is named. Who's it going to be? What's your pick? Not who do you want, who do you think it's oh, going to be? I don't know. I don't, I don't get into, into all that fan stuff. I don't know. I've got no idea. Who do you like? Top three picks. Who do you like to see it be? Uh, Idris Elba. Um, anyone who's not Daniel Craig. <laughs> Part of the Cavill fan base. No, I think he's a bad choice. Um, I don't rate him as an actor. I know, obviously, we're in Guernsey. He's in Jersey. Mm. There's no rivalry there. I think fair play to the guy. He's, he's got done. a bit of the Roger Moore suaveness. I can see that coming in. I, the thing is, the only thing that I've seen him in, because I'm not big on, on current films, <laughs> is um, Superman. Yeah. And for me, it was like the worst Superman film I've ever seen. His acting was so robotic and dry. Yeah. Um, so, no, he should not be. I, I'd really like to see Idris Elba um, or... I don't know, hit me up with some actors. Uh, I'll say yes. <laughs> Who's the guy that plays Deadpool? Yeah. Oh, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> yeah. No, the trouble is he's very typecast, though. He, he, yeah, I know. I was just saying. He, 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 but... I mean, it'd be funny for about five um, minutes, but... I don't know. There's probably actors that I just don't know the names. To be fair, there's a lot of good English actors. Um, I'd like to see someone like Ray Fiennes do it. I've got no idea who those. You don't know Ray Fiennes? No, I don't know these people. You I don't must know him. I don't watch current the, films. The guy, he plays like... Voldemort in Harry Potter. He was Never in watched a Harry Potter Red film. Dragon, The Tooth Fairy. Never seen the it. The Hannibal film. Uh, Hannibal film. He was the serial killer, the, the Tooth Fairy, oh. the one who like do the mirrors in the eyes and oh. the blind. I can't one. remember off the top of my head, but oh, you'll know his face. Google him. It's upsetting me. What was his name again? Ra it's spelled Ralph. Ralph. That's a bad start. Raffles. Fines. F oh no, we can't do that because I just realised who he plays. Are you serious? <laughs> He's them in the Daniel Craig ones. I mean, yeah, and also, he's, like, super old. And? Too old. And? Nah, mate. Nah. Oh, he'd nah. be good. No, nah, well too old. I've got a complete idiot. I totally forgot that he played M. He was actually quite a good M. I liked him as M. Uh, he, uh, he did the a... angry, pissed-off M quite well. He brought back classic M. He looked, to me, he looked weak, and he's of the Daniel Craig era. That was kind of the point to make him look weak. Anyway, should we actually get on to some... Yeah, so let's talk about... So, should we... Are we talking about... Should we talk about the, the, the new... The new old Brosnan, to start First with. First of all, I want to point out from Amiga, you're saying there was an event, right? Was there an event? There was an event. I don't know who was invited. Daniel not, Craig was there and some of the ambassadors. Do you just think, like, this is like a big deal for the Bond franchise, and it should be a big deal for Amiga, because this, you know, in the 90s, catapulted Amiga. Like, mm -hmm. It was all a bit lazy. Yeah. I just think, these watches, I'm sorry, I keep looking this way because I'm just looking at it, um... They're lazy. It's like we, they change a few bits here. Like, oh yeah, we'll take the one that we just did. Uh, I would say last year, but it was two years ago mm -hmm. now. Um, and, oh, and but they didn't even keep the like, same metal. What can we change here? Well, what well, they've gone backwards? Yes, no, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, let's get on to the better one of the two. So the blue one. Um, so let me let me be positive. Things I like. The blue dial is very reminiscent of. Oh, what you're wearing you go. the original now to be fair yours i don't class yours technically it's the not brosnan the brosnan i know but it's a real watch it's a, as opposed to a quartz shite um but it's it's got that proper blue wave dial um it, it's visually it looks exactly the same as that that I except think the font on the uh bezel is, is cool um 
They've obviously omitted the date window. They've gone clean. You know what? Fine um, with that too. The 60 at the it's, top of the bezel. I'm okay with the 60. Mm. I, was, I wasn't, I was but... It makes sense. 60th anniversary. Yeah, I get 60th. what they're doing. What I don't like is they cheaped out and put an aluminium bezel on it. Yeah, it's why, why would you, when the cheaper models have a ceramic, it's a modern material, I know it's 60... Because it's not vintage. Was that aluminium? Yeah. It must be. Yeah. Yeah. So... Why? Are they just trying to reference it more? It's not... This thing, I'll put it up on the screen. Yeah. It's not vintage. No. So why are they trying to... They, yeah, it's it's, just it's like referential. They cheap, it should be a homage they to that. Out. They've gone with steel. Fine. Um, they brought it down a little clip to 42 mils. Mm. Better. Sure. I still would have preferred it at 39 or 40. Um, I think 40 would have been the, the right choice. Mm. Um, I think they just missed a the trick. They should have just done the no time to steel, die but in blue. Rather than titanium. I think they should have kept with titanium personally, yeah. but again, it's not a deal breaker. The the biggest deal breakers for me, the bezel, it's come out, although they've taken it down a millimetre smaller, it's come out, and correct me if I'm wrong here because I haven't researched this properly. <laughs> should have researched it. It's a millimetre thicker. Yes, I think. We think. So, correct to be honest, me. We, we've been bantering more about Bond than the actual watch itself, exactly. to be I, honest. So. Like all of my videos, I haven't bothered to research it properly. I'm just going off the what I read like a week ago. Um, and I'm sorry, but the case back, I, I know like when we were having coffee with Matt the other morning, he was like, oh, I think it's really cool. Honestly, I think it's tacky. Mm. That, that's, I get that some people that maybe aren't that deep into horology, and I know it's, it's a Bond I, theme watch, but I see it with the little animation, tacky. I kind of thought what they were going for was cool, but I agree, I, I've thought about it more, and the, the holograph thing, like you get on like Pokemon cards as a kid, that, it, that's a bit tacky. They could have done a better way to execute the, the bond I in the back. I actually think... But I do like the gun barrel right. thing. The normal model has a sapphire case back, yeah. right? So they've done it again with a sapphire case back. They put this thing. There should have been some sort of an engraving. Okay, maybe not this, but I love the Seamaster. If they're yeah. going with an Allen Binning bezel, they want to get more vintage -y. It should have been like this with should. some sort of inscription engraved about yeah. Bond. I it mean, should have been a modern version of the Brosnan. That's what it should yeah. have been. Yeah, I, yeah. Just an updated Nailed version. Um, and how much you got to pay for this thing? Uh, seven? I'm looking on... Uh, I think. An American, so, 7,000 Swiss francs or 7,400 US dollars. So, what are we talking? Six? Six, probably, yeah. Right. And how much is the normal one? Which, uh, 5,000... Five. Five, five... Something. One, yeah. I, think, I think it's 5,000. So, you're going to pay about an extra grand? Yeah. I don't know. I think, I suppose as a Bond collector's piece, it's not crazy overpriced. You've seen some of the you collector's know, I think editions. the best Bond one they ever did, uh, disgustingly in the Daniel Craig era, but anyway, no was, um, no, the Spectre. I hated the Spectre. <laughs> that one, I would say, from a collector's point of view, for those of us which are genuine watch collectors, they're still trading over list. Mm. They were impossible to get at the time. Um, they are sold out super quick. And that was just, they nailed it yeah. for me. Um, this, listen, it's not hideous. It's just... Could have been executed better. Uh, do you I know think. what it was? It was like, you know, sometimes if I give a, a task to someone at work, you know, if it's not an important one, you know, you give it to the person, you know, that you know can't execute it properly yeah. um, because you want to save your valuable people for other projects. That's what they. That's what Amiga looks like. They did with this yeah, one. Yeah, it's like they gave it to the intern. Yeah, like an aluminium bezel. Ah. Oh. Whose idea was this? Um, oh, to be fair, I am admitting the bracelet. I I like the Melanese bracelet. I think that's kind of that's nice. Um, yeah, but again, I think if they were trying to reference the Brosnan, they should have stuck with the Brosnan bracelet. I'm calling it the Brosnan bracelet. Now, and also, why doesn't it come with a NATO? Like they're like ridiculously expensive, three hundred pound NATOs. Mm -hmm. You know. Probably because they don't... Actually, no, they've done it before, obviously, with the Spectre, of course. Yes. Um, and they did it, and they've done it with the the most recent one from... Yeah. No, is it No Time to Die? Yeah, and that's but, become a very popular third-party NATO now as well. A lot of people are mimicking that. You know, well, even the Spectre NATO was... Uh, I should really double-check before I say these things on camera. I'm but pretty certain. It's yeah. referencing the, the old Bond one yeah, from, the, from Dr. No, mm. uh, that Sean Connery wore, um, which, I mean, I've got several of those. Now, I like them, you know. Even I'm even wearing a NATO today. Yeah, um, which you've had some it should, it should. issues with. <laughs> no, no issues. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my overall a thumbs down. Amigo, you're fucking lazy.
Like, yeah. they could have done this properly. It's, like, it's a big deal for them. They've been doing the Olympics forever. Yeah. Um, that's still going. It's, it's a good... And let's be honest, aside it's a good from the moonwatch, this is um, the most recognisable piece Amiga's ever yeah, done. Like, you're not doing a moon landing again, you wank. No. Um, Nail it. But you got James Bond, which, let's be honest, if you didn't have that, um, things wouldn't be looking great. No. So you should have made an effort. Yeah, thumbs it, down. It just it. seems like the latest in a tirade of Amiga underwhelms. Obviously, they had all their novelties early this year. You know, the Deep Sea. Not the Deep Sea, I'm getting mixed up now. The, the Ultra Deep. It's just dis <laughs> disappointment after disappointment. Talking of disappointment, so we move on to I the thought next you one. liked the Fleming edition. So I'm calling it the Fleming edition. Copyright me. Let, let's call it that. I wanted to like it. I'm a huge fan of Ian Fleming's books. Uh, I have the set, I've read them multiple times. I, I love this style of writing for, for uh, this. Let me guess, is it the price? Well, let's talk about the price first. <laughs> let me just, I, I, I memorized it, but I just want to double check. Yes, $140,000. So let's put that into... Let's, uh, let's compare that to Great a Rainbow British Daytona. Family. Well, uh, to be fair, they, they've gone up a lot. Um, US dollar. <laughs> Nobody wants to be comparing the pound and the dollar right now. Okay, so we're being conservative. It's 117 grand. No, now, no, no. In no, the world no. of watches, 120 grand, let's be honest, it's not that much, you know, with the crazy Pateks out there. Uh, Cartier crashes. You, well, let's not even get into the vintage stuff. I mean, it's it's not the biggest amount, but for a modern watch, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. oh, that's all right because they put a precious metal in the in the dial, right? Oh no! Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's natural silicon, as someone pointed out. Is it non-animal silicon? I know it's natural silicon, but silicon isn't that expensive. Well, I mean, correct no. me if I'm wrong. You can go to B and Q and buy silicon. Yes. I mean, I know this. So it's meant. To, so it's meant to represent. Is it like the wallpaper in his in his toilet? At, I, I, I know. Line? I know the gems were about. It's a homage to Ian Fleming's Golden like Estate in Jamaica. Yeah, the sa I think the 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 sands and the color tones, the environment was the was the gems and the and the dial was something to do with. So it's it's made in their canopus white gold. Um, first of all, with the stone colors that they chose. For me, it, they should have used their Sedna gold, which mm -hmm. is a very rich yellow gold. Yeah. Um, then there's got the natural grey silicon. Is silicon really that precious? I, I mean, what am I missing? I don't know. It's, right, it's, fine. It's, I hate every single thing then, about this watch. I'm just going to be up front. There's the bezel designed in tribute to the Jamaican flag with green, yellow, treated natural diamonds. So, right, okay, so the natural diamonds, okay, like, all done, that have been treated. So, oh, sorry, oh, so they are actually diamonds. Okay, I've yeah, missed yeah, that part. Yeah, yeah, the diamonds. I thought they'd use different sapphires, for example. No. No, okay. This is where I have the problem because I love gems, I love them on watches. But when you look at the great sorry, I should probably look at the camera more. Yeah, but when you probably. look when you look at the gradient around the dial, what a shit job they've done. Yeah. So when when Rolex, let's talk about the the uh, Rainbow Daytona, they buy in, you know, all of these gemstones and their their gem setters will literally pick from what must be thousands or hundreds of thousands yeah, of stones to perfect. get the perfect gradient, and it's like insane. But those are natural stones. These have been treated, and the gradient isn't very good. Mm. And like, I just think everything clashes. I think they're disrespecting Jamaica at this point because it's not <laughs> it's not a great job. Um, There's your title. So okay, so it's white gold or their canopus gold, brilliant. Um, the lu inside beats the luxury caliber 88007 movement. F me, a dinky. I mean, you it's, it's, been, it's disruptive. Have you been paid to write this? Um, and can we just talk about the diamond in the bezel pip? Oh, shit, I've got to go back. There is actually a NATO with the bond. Oh, <laughs> is, no. one. is it a good NATO at least? It's all right. I've not actually, seen it. To be fair, so hold my hands up. Yeah, I should do more research on it. But no, not for, you think. I about, hate. I just hate how much it clashes. I don't get it. For a hundred and seventeen-ish grand, let's call it one hundred and twenty grand. Yeah. Uh, in pounds, there's. You think what the price of a platinum Daytona has got to mm -hmm. be half that? Yeah. Um, maybe even less. I mean, even with the one of the baguette diamonds, um, is less than that. Okay. Meteorites. Yeah, meteorite GMT. What's that? Forty. Mm-hmm. 
uh, retail, roughly. Mm -hmm. <sighs> nah, not for me. I wanted to like it because I like, I, you know, jam setting, you know, nice. It looked it, very out there. I thought it was going to be one for you, but I it, hate it. It might be one that looks better in person, but the reality is if someone saw you saw that on your wrist, okay, it's white gold, which is like a stealth metal. Mm -hmm. Fine, you don't wear white gold to show off. A bit like platinum. But it's like, why isn't it even done in platinum? Yeah. I mean, even at platinum, you can't justify that price. Um, there's not that many diamonds. I mean, the diamonds there... <sighs> I could be wrong, but I'm going to say they've probably got a cost of, I mean, maybe I'm out of here, but one grand, mm. two, I mean, someone will know more than, than Jensen me, but I just, I don't see it their cost that there's even more than two. Okay, fine. Okay. They've had to treat them to get the color. So even if there's say three, four grand, mm. the markup on this thing is insane. I mean, how <sighs> many, how many are they making? I can't even be bothered reading it. I, I stopped reading about it because I hate it that much. To be honest, I should have. I just don't get they've gone with... Oh, no, it gets worse. Oh, they... <laughs> it looks like to me that they've put a, a gold... Actually, I don't know if I want to... Is that right? What? It looks like the rotor's gold. If that's right, that's even worse. Oh, no. Like, surely the rotor should be white gold. Listen, you can call me out on this if I'm wrong. You can see that we don't really do much research. I read the article originally like over a week ago. I'm looking at him. I missed the NATO. Sorry, Amiga. Um, oh, it's just not okay. So I just, I don't understand. Why have you gone like full bling with the diamonds and then put some of this clear, like an urban camo inspired dial? It just, it's bizarre. There's no design language there. It's just throw a load of stuff in and make it it's just disruptive. Awful. It's just awful. Don't use the word disruptive. You don't work for a dicky. Um, yeah, I... I'm not a fan of that one. I wanted to be... Listen, if someone gave it to me for free, I'd wear it. Mm. Same with the other one. Um, and again, for the third time, apologies. I missed that they did include a NATO yeah, with the steel version. I still um, think back. The best Bond Collect one they did was where they had the gun barrel visual, but on the dial. I bet you hate that, but... I do hate the it. The subtle, like, the black one. Did you we know cover I mean? that in my Amiga Bond video, which was, like, feels like years ago, but it was only probably over a I year ago. I don't know ago. if we actually talked about the collector's editions as a whole. I thought we did. I don't think we did. I don't know. I, I think we talked more... We talked more about what Bond wore. Yes. But we never actually covered the various... Because there's been so many collector's models. I laid models. into one of the Bond watches. Oh, you laid into the one with the 007 on the dial, you remember? That was, oh, that was Quantum of Solace, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which makes sense, because Quantum of Solace was an absolute steaming pile of shite anyway. Who was in that one? That was Craig. I don't... I, I yeah. Come on, you can't tell me that you liked the last film. Mate, I introduced my missus to Bond ahead of... No Time to Die, I made her watch all of the Daniel Craig's lead up to it, and I skipped Quantum of Solace. That's how bad it is. I didn't even acknowledge it. Yeah, but do you, do you still think that his last film was good? You just want this on record, don't you? No, I tried to watch it again the other day, and I skipped through most of it. That watched... egotistical ruined it. I just watched most of the funny parts, skipped what? the ending. A little uh, thing, though, right now on Amazon Prime, they've currently got all of the Bond movies to watch as part of Prime. Nice. Because normally you have to pay for it, so I'm... Rewatching Wait, them all of them? Yes. For fuck's sake, I literally, right, so this is how lazy I am. I own the full box set on DVD. Right. And I was sat in bed the other day, and I was working on something, and I was, I was like, I really fancy watching a bomb film. <laughs> and I was like, I fancy watching Goldeneye. And I was like, the DVDs are over there. Okay. I'll just buy it on, like, Microsoft Films. But you You're now telling me. So I paid, like, £10 for Goldeneye for a film I already own. <laughs> and I could have watched it for free on Prime So you anyway. paid £10 so you could be bothered to get out of your bed? Yes. You but wow. I know that... They're it's to be limited. Fair, they're on DVD, though, so the quality's not it, as good. It's a limited time that they're on Prime Free. I don't care. They've always been, they've always been on Amazon Prime, but you had to pay for it, whereas now they're part of the Prime package, mm. uh, which I definitely pay for. And I, want, I want my refund on Golden. I fell asleep halfway through because I just... I was so tired. I might watch that tonight. That's the one with the weird, like, sex killer. Yeah, I like that one, but not because of that. <laughs> it was just... But I think for Piers Bros, I, I don't know, for anyone of a certain age that had um, the Nintendo 64... Oh, yeah. And you had got... It was the, the only... Or the N64, as we called it. 
Goldeneye was the only good I game. I still have console. N64 and I still have that copy of Goldeneye. Amazing. I've still got the box. I've got the box and papers somewhere. <laughs> the box and papers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. Just bring it to well for the projector. Anyway, um, so that's all about Bond. Um, let us know your thoughts. Are you going to buy one? I mean, obviously, none of you peasants are buying the uh, Canon. I'm joking. Nor are we, to be clear. Neither are we. I'm definitely a peasant. I, I've um, got to say, I do like the new Brosnan. I just wish they'd done it better. I like that they were going to, be to approach fair, it. I'll come back to it when I've handled one in person, yeah. um, which won't be locally because I'm not allowed in. But <laughs> when I buy one in at a significantly discounted price to sell on, um, I'll let you know my thoughts then. And if, if I feel I'm wrong, I'll, I'll come up and say yeah. it. Um, so I, just, I, just I, I would just say this. It's not essentially that it's a bad watch. It's bad in proportion to my expectations of what Amiga would have done for it mm -hmm. for the 60th anniversary. Yeah. It's a big deal. I just think they could have done better. You know, we're not angry, we're disappointed. They, they, this was their shot to, to rejuvenate their most recognised model outside of the Speedmaster. And yeah, they f***ed it up. So, there. Cool. Bye then.